What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. We have an updated list of all the Pokemon that will be returning in part two of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. So of course today I'll be going over all of the details so you know exactly what to expect. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So we are here on Pokios where they have put together an interactive Pokedex of all the Pokemon that we can expect to be seeing in part two of the DLC. And some people were actually lucky enough to get their hands on the DLC beforehand. So a lot of these have been confirmed by those that did get a chance to play ahead of time. But we already know that all of the starter Pokemon are going to be available in part two of the DLC, just roaming in the wild. So we are starting off with Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise, followed by some other Kanto favorites like Ekans, Arbok, Sandshrew, one of my personal favorites, and Sandslash, Clefairy and Clefable, which are already in the game, Vulpix and Ninetales, which did come back to us in part one of the DLC as well, Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume, Poliwag, which also came back in part one, which is adorable, as well as Poliwhirl and Poliwrath, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Geodude, Graveler, Golem, Doduo and Dodrio, Seal and Dugong, Execute, Executor, and Alolan Executor, so you're gonna be able to find both, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Coughing, and Weezing, who have already been making an appearance at regionals as well, with Weezing's annoying ability that turns off like all other abilities, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Magmar, Lapras, another one of my personal favorites, Snorlax, Chikorita, which I am so excited for. Everybody hates on Chikorita so much, but Chikorita is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon and one of my favorite starters. Bayleaf and Meganium, Totodile, Croconaw, and Feraligator, Sentret, Furret, Hoot Hoot, Noctowl, Spinarak, Ariados. Obviously, a ton of these have already come back in part one, but they will also be in part two. Cleffa, Blossom, Politoed, which I did have on one of my teams for a brief period of time. I was trying out a Parish Trap team. I wasn't very good with it, so we moved on from that team. But Politoed is still adorable, especially it's shiny. It looks like cotton candy. Apom, Yanma, Gligar, Slugma, Medcargo, Swinub, Pillow Swine, Skarmory, Smeargle, which everyone's real excited about, Tyrogue, Hitmontop, Magby, Trico, Grovile, Sceptile, which I am in the minority in saying that I don't really care about Sceptile. I don't like that he's got a whole tree on his tail. Like, hello, is bro okay? Torchic, Combuskin, and Blaziken, Mudkip, the Mouth Breather, Marshstomp, and Swampert, Poochiana, Mightyena, Lotad, Lombre, and the homie Ludicolo, Seedot, Nuzleaf, Shiftry being annoying, it's already being used in competitive as well with its stupid Wind Rider ability. I got a lot of beef with some of these new Pokemon, okay? They're just annoying to deal with. Nosepass, Volbeat, Illumise, Trap Hinch, one of my other all time favorites, this entire line is adorable. Vibrava, and of course, Flygon, Corphish, Crawdont. Feebas and Milotic, some other of my personal favorites. Will I ever get my shiny Milotic? I don't know. Maybe if I stop being lazy and actually shiny hunt it. Duskull, Dusclops, Chimeco, Beldum, which you already know what that means. We had to go to page two, but of course that means Metang and Metagross will be returning. Metagross is one of my other favorite Pokemon. Just look at it, it looks cool. And it's got a cool shiny. Craniodos, Rampardos, Shieldon, Bastodon, Ambipom being creepy as ever, Chingling, Munchlax, which you can actually get a shiny Munchlax, I believe, if you complete the Ogre Ousting game on like hard mode. Am I gonna do that? No, because Ogre Ousting literally makes my blood boil sometimes times because the amount of times that I've been so close to winning and then all my freaking things get stolen by these little squirrels and munchlaxes. I, okay, anyway, I digress. Rhyperior is also returning. Magmortar is returning. Yanmega is returning. Gliscor, Mamoswine, another one of my favorites. Probopass, Dusk Noir, another one of my favorite starters. Snivy, Servine, and of course, Superior, Tepig, Pig Knight, which these two are fine, and then it turns into Embor and it just goes downhill, but he's coming back. Blitzel, Zebstrika, Timber, Girder, Conkledor, Swaddle, Swadloon, and Levani. One that I am very excited for because I do want to use it on my team as a Tailwind setter. So we, of course, have Cottony and Whimsicott. Whimsicott's so cute. White Striped Basculin, Mincino, Cincino, Solosis, Duosion, Reuniclus, Ducklet, Swanna. Litwick, Lampant, and Chandelure, Manfu, Manshao, Golat, Golurk, Vullaby, Mandibuzz, 
Esper and Meowstic, Inke, Malamar, Carbink, Phantom, Trevenant, Litten is so cute and so is Toracat, and then it turns into Incineroar and then it just becomes ugly. But yeah, a fan favorite, Incineroar is returning. Poplio, Brion, Primarina, Pikapek, Trumbeak, Toucanon, Grubbin, Chargebug, Vicavolt, Cutiefly, Rebombi, Jangmao, Hakamoo, Komoo, Cramorant, Milkery, Alchemy, Morpeko, Duraludon, Ursaluna, Blood Moon Ursaluna, Basculegion, Female Basculegion, Diplin, Poltergeist Unremarkable Form, Poltergeist Masterpiece Form, Sinistra Unremarkable Form, Sinistra Masterpiece Form, Okie Doggy, Monkey Dory, Pheasantipity, Grass Ogre Pawn, Water Pawn, Fire Pawn, and Rock Pawn, Archelodon, which we have yet to see how we're actually going to encounter this one. Some people think it might be like a raid Pokemon or an event Pokemon. Some people think it might be in the wild. Raging Bolt, which is said to be an event Pokemon on the actual Pokemon website. So this will probably be released in five star raids like the other two. Paradox legendaries were. Paradox Entei, which we are supposedly supposed to be getting. Nobody has really confirmed nor denied it, but I mean, it would complete the trio because we already have Paradox Suicune and Paradox Raikou, so it would, you know, make sense logically to have Paradox Entei. Iron Crown, which is also supposed to be an event Pokemon, so it'll probably be a five-star raid as well. Iron Terrakion, which also has not been officially announced, but once again, it would complete everything. Base form Terrapagos, or whatever they actually decide to end up calling the smaller Terrapagos form. And of course, the final Pokemon that we will be seeing in part two of the DLC is the Terrastal form of Terrapagos, where it has its shell. So quite a few fan favorites will be returning once we do get part two of the DLC come December 14th, which is literally just like a few weeks away at this point. But there you have it. That is the most recently updated list of all the Pokemon that we can expect to be returning in part two of the DLC. Leave a comment down below which Pokemon you're excited to see returning in the game and any other Pokemon that you were hoping to see that may not have made it on this list. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.